Today's talk is called The Abandoned to the Love of God. And it's comparing the similarities between Padre Pio's spirituality and St. Therese of the Infant Jesus' spirituality. Hello friends of Following Padre Pio. On this channel we take a glimpse into the incredible life of our great saint Padre Pio, who was a Capuchin friar, he was a mystic and he was a miracle worker. Please do stay tuned so that you can find out what Padre Pio's intercession can do for you or for someone you love. We do also thank our protected child of Padre Pio patrons um, for your help and your support. You enabling our apostolate to continue and we'd like to encourage everyone else do like our videos, share the videos with your friends and colleagues. You can help in our apostolate this way and also if you're new to our channel do subscribe to this channel. Click that reminder bell as well. Now there are parallels we can say between the spirituality of Saint Therese of the Infant Jesus and also Padre Pio. But first we have to look at who was Saint Therese of the Infant Jesus. Well she kind of achieved fame we could say after her death when her book The Story of a Soul was published and it became popular worldwide. It became a spiritual bestseller. And in that book she describes her spirituality. And thereafter she became a doctor of the church and that means that her teachings or her spirituality we could say are considered as authoritative. And in particular she developed what she called the little way and this wove her life thread out of insignificant little events that she's described as more thorns than roses but done with extraordinary love. And because of this love, these little events are made into something significant in the eyes of God. And people who bore testimony to her greatness, St. Pius X said that St. Teresa was the greatest saint of modern times. And then Pius XI added the star of my pontificate. That's what he considered St. Teresa. And Pius XII said that she rediscovered the gospel, the very heart of the gospel. So now we just want to look at a few parallels we can say between Padre Pio's life and um, St. Teresa's life. And this is taken from some writings of Padre Pio. He wrote to his spiritual father. And this took place in his trials and suffering during his dark night of the soul. And his spiritual director has given him some advice. And because of this he felt compared, compelled rather, to imitate Saint Teresa in just absolutely abandoning himself, to trust blindly in the love of God and everything lived based on this trust. And Father Augustino is encouraging Padre Pio to just have confidence and trust in one of the phrases of Saint Teresa the Infant Jesus. And this phrase was borrowed from Saint John of the Cross. In which he said, at the ends of our lives, right at the end of our life, we will be judged on our love. So of course love is something active. It's not just fe mushy feelings and things, it's something active. And this fact is taken from a letter, and this is in October 1915, where Father Augustino writes, Try to appease your anguish by drinking of the fountain of divine love. There you can appease your anguish by faith, trust, humility, and also by submission to the will of God. And he continues, our venerable Saint Therese of the Infant Jesus said, I am a small soul. I do not even want to decide if I want to live or if I want to die. I just want to let Jesus do whatever he wants with me. So she abandoned herself completely to the will of Jesus. And then a little later in October 1915, um, Padre Pio responded in this manner and he said, Father, how great is my misfortune? This is, he's going through this dark night of the soul. How can I understand these things? I know very well it is a mystery that I cannot understand. We can see the dark night of the soul, this confusion and it's a very difficult time because the consolations have now been removed. Padre Pio says, you write to me of Sister St. Therese of the Infant Jesus, who used to say, 
I do not want to decide to live or to die. But just let Jesus do whatever he wants with me. I see well that this is the plight of all souls, Padre Pio tells us, that are stripped or being stripped of themselves and becoming full of God. I cannot contain these impulses in my heart. I seek to respond to these words of St. Therese. And he adds, I admit that I cannot do this myself, which means remaining a prisoner in this body of death. So you, he requires the help of Jesus. Is this a sign that I do not have a proper love of God, he asks. For if I had, since he is the spirit that enliveneth, this effect should be the same in me as it was in, in, in St. Therese. And then he adds, let us understand this well, that if the action of God on me is the same action as it was in St. Teresa, then my soul would share her conviction. Now what do you say, he asks, do I have reason to doubt this? Who will liberate me of this torture? So Padre Pio is going through a real anguish here in the dark night of his soul. We see Padre Pio grappling with the spirituality of St. Teresa in order to understand or to develop his own spirituality. But at the same time, by grappling with this, he's also confirming the spirituality of St. Teresa of the infant Jesus. Now, we just want to analyze a few of the similarities that exist between their spiritualities. And we're going to look at, under the topic, the mercy and the madness of the cross, which I believe were the kind of the words of um, St. Paul, the Apostle Paul. The madness of the cross. Saint Teresa of Lisieux and the Saint of Petrocina, that is Padre Pio, they both entered into the mystery of the mercy of God, that is Christ crucified and risen. So that's an essential component of Catholicism, of Christianity. And we are told that both remained there at the foot of the cross, you know, where Our Lady had remained, and there they learned to love. Saint Teresa saw that in the cross there was for her the concrete possibility for love of sinners who were children needing to be saved. So she could offer up her intentions there and they could be saved through this. This fact she wrote, Sanctity does not consist in just speaking or feeling nice things, but consists, this is what Saint Teresa said, in a desire to suffer everything for Christ and for others. So she sees that as the core of her sanctity. For Saint Teresa um, can be summed up in her words, it is proper of love to want to descend and to lift others up. And then the cross and mercy are distinctive characteristics that they both have in common. But in the life of Padre Pio, of course, he was able to dispense God's mercy within the confessional. And there he fiercely combated Satan. And this, this fact we can see from one of his letters, which he wrote to Padre Benedetto. And Padre Pio says, I spend all of my time pulling my brothers out from Satan's bonds. Padre Pio tells us the greatest charity is to pluck souls that have been hooked by Satan, to conquer them for God. He sees that as a tremendous obligation for himself as a priest. So, we can look at today and hypothetically, um, if a church does not have easy access to confession, then is it somehow demonstrating a lack of charity of the priest for, for their parishioners? For instance, what if someone is in a state of mortal sin and they Salvation now depends on them being able to go to confession. For St. Therese, this madness of the cross corresponds to kind of a gift or like a sacrifice, a burnt offering for sinners to bring souls back to our Lord. So she would make these sacrifices in order to help win souls back to our Lord. So in the sanctity of both of these two great saints, they considered themselves to be small and very fragile participants in this great passion of Christ. 
And we can see that both of them today still give testimony to the mercy of our Lord in His church who continues to save the world and humanity. And we'd really like to encourage you, do enroll your Mass pre-intentions um, to a Mass we have celebrated every Friday for Padre Pio. You can enroll your intentions, intentions to this Mass. Just watch the video on the end screen how to do this or go to the link in the video description below. Please do continue watching other videos.